Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. I'll say hello. Uh, so welcome back to the leveling uh, account. Uh, today's challenge that we're doing is attack speed Darius. Now some people may be confused. Ahaz, you're going attack speed Darius. Why do you have Grasp the Undying? Unfortunately, the game changed my runes. So because obviously this new player thing that I guess they don't trust new players to do their own runes. I picked Conqueror. I had a room page and I had Conqueror and it changed it back for me. Thanks, game. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is attack speed Darius. Um, probably like Phantom Dancer first item maybe. Like the, the general rule that I think I'm going to go with, again, is a challenge. Every item I get has to have attack speed on it apart from my boots. So that's what, that's the challenge. So like, I can get Triforce. If I wanted to just go for a normal build, I could just go Triforce first because it does have attack speed. So the, that's the idea. The idea of the, the challenge is have every item have attack speed. So I might, I might go Triforce first. There's a chance. Oh my god. Uh, for, so one, one thing I'll say is just as a little fair warning for upcoming content on the channel. This video should be a second video of the day. Uh, but I think I might have mentioned in the Katarina episode that if they're like these games um, become the main video of the day for the next few days. Uh, it's because again, it, they're just they're, they're really simple content to make. People are really enjoying them. I'm enjoying making them. I'm, I'm definitely having more fun making these than my main account at the moment. The trolls are out like crazy on the main account um and with all the dental problems like technically of you guys watching this in a couple days i'm having my full consultation about the surgery well obviously i need to bulk record when i'm actually gonna have the surgery because i won't be able to talk for a few days and uh, you know that's kind of my job um so yeah these are just really good content at the moment especially in pre-season i think they're great content for pre-season plus we need to get it done anyway we need the account to be level 30 by January. So yeah. I will say if you do enjoy the content. People have told me time and time again. Just to keep saying it. Just throw a like on the video. Uh, if you watch in full screen mode. And you're like oh I'll do it later. But you always forget. Now there's no excuse. Because if you scroll. If you're on computer at least. It might be mobile as well. I don't know. But if you scroll down. While you're watching this video in full screen. It actually. You just see the likes and comments and stuff. So you can do it while you're in full screen mode right now. So there is no excuse. Because I've seen some people make that. Um... Well, that was an only night. I've seen some people make that kind of like, not excuse, but they're like, oh, I would do it. But I always forget. Because I go full, full screen mode and then I can't do it. Well, now you can. So we get ganked straight away. Um, so because we got recognized, which we did, by the way, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets just camped like crazy. So that's a thing. Uh, so let's do that. Again, the challenge is having full complete items, having attack speed. I can buy components that aren't like that. That would just be making the challenge impossible, basically. But I also will say I completely forgot to say in the description of this video, there will be a cutie for you guys to leave suggestions of what I should play while leveling this account. You can leave two different types of suggestions, or you can leave both. It doesn't really matter. You can leave what champion you simply want me to play. For fun, you can play it any way you want. Uh, you can say what item build you want me to do. You know, whatever you want. Just suggest something for me to play. Then the other suggestion you can leave is what challenge you want me to do. So obviously we did the one hand Master Yi, which people loved. Uh, this one's the attack speed Darius. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave challenges as well. So th those are the two types of suggestions you can leave um, on the QT uh, down below. So I really appreciate it. if you can go leave some suggestions. That would be awesome. Oh, I mucked up. Hey! Uh, and again, once again, just thanks everybody for the crazy support recently. Uh, the YouTube channel, just as a, like a nice thing to say, uh, the view number uh, for the last 30 days is back having an arrow going up. Um, for the, the 30 days before this, there was an arrow down, unfortunately. So the arrow is going back up, so that means we're getting more views again. 
uh, and also the income has got an arrow going up, which obviously that shouldn't be surprising because we're now in November. Um, but obviously with the increase of Twitch as well, I'm going like, to, I'll just say I'm going to have a very good November and December, which I'm very grateful for. So thank you. Why did he do that? <laughs> what? You don't take on a Darius in just like a like hand ha like fist fight because Darius is always gonna win that. Like that's what Darius is built for, getting his stacks. That was weird. Um. So also just to say the ratings on the enemy team, I always want to say this just abundantly clear: the Kane is platinum five, and the Zillion is platinum two. So there you go. So again, high, high rating players, con considering we're on a level 12 account. And again, all of my team is Twitch subscribers. Uh, Mac is level 4. Uh, Zaya is level 21. And then we do have Toaster, who's playing support. I don't think he's normally a support player. Maybe he is. Uh, but he's Diamond 4. And um, Kit is Platinum 5. So for a normal game, we're actually got quite good MMR. <laughs> which is kind of funny. I wouldn't take that on. Zed's right there. That trading, though. Alright, do you think the Garen will just, like, straight up want to, like, fight me again? Or do you think he's learned his lesson? He might now with ult, because if he times his Q well, uh, it, like, su surprisingly, Garen is annoying for Darius. <laughs> Again, obviously, these champions are, like, crazy, like, similar in... You know, they've got similarities. Dar Garen's basically the training wheel version of Darius, right? So if you're a big Garen player, you like Garen, but you've played him for a while and you think you're good, I'd recommend you upgrade yourself to Darius because he is the better version in practically every single way. Darius is the better version. Like, oh, you love Garen's Execute Ultimate? Oh, yeah. Darius has got that, and it also resets when you kill somebody with it. Uh, oh, you like uh, um, Garen's Poke Damage? Oh, yeah. Ga uh, Darius has got that with a slow uh, and also a dot damage. So, it's it, again, my recommendation would be definitely upgrade yourself to, to Darius if you are a player of Garen. Oop, will he die? Hey, let's go. All right, let's get the first attack speed components. So yeah, we're going to go Triforce first. It's it's fairly standard, which I think, again, in all these challenges, you want to have like a baseline that you know something's good on the champion. And obviously, I know Triforce is good on Darius. I'm not entirely sure if Phantom Dancer's good or, you know, what else am I going to get? Storms, I'm probably going to get... um. Storm Razor if the game goes long enough. So the idea of my build, I think I'm going to go Trinity Force. Then for lols, I'm going to go Phantom Dancer. <laughs> and then after that, and then Blade of the Ruin King maybe, then Storm Razor? I don't know, we'll see. It'd be really sad, by the way, if the Zillion is flaming. It always really disappoints me when I get recognized and the people that like are toxic are people that like watch my videos. So I try to like, you know, say, hey, don't be toxic. Woo. Lantern me, baby. Come on, toaster. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Oh. That was a really weird we're doing. I accidentally pressed W. <sighs> Alright. We're getting fed, baby. First game of the day. Again, what I'm also planning, just to kind of say here uh, on stream, but also for the YouTube channel. Um, again, with how bad the main account and preseason content is in general in trolling value. Uh, I think I'm going to start every single stream with leveling the account, which I normally do at the end of the stream. Uh, basically, just to put myself in like a better mood than I would be on my main account. Because what I've been doing recently is I've been playing on my main account, which hasn't been going very well in preseason. Then playing on the, the Smurf. Uh, but by that time, I've already probably got trolled a couple times, which isn't very fun. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just, like... Oh, what? I did... L oh, I had no mana for Q. 
Whoops, I make that mistake. I made my mistake. I probably should have looked at my mana bar. What do I think of Article 13? Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much. Again, it's not really political because it's just a stupid thing that old people in politics don't understand anything about. But it's scary because all YouTubers' jobs could die in Europe. But no matter how you feel about Brexit, I mean, again, I'm not really going to get into that either. But if Britain leave Europe and it, all that happens, then I should be fine. But I'm, I'm hoping that Article 13 just doesn't happen. Because to me, it's an absolutely dreadful idea. It's basically just going to kill online content creation, more or less, in Europe. And if it does happen, I will say, and it does affect me, what I would hope would happen, but it never will, is content creators who have a close relationship with Riot get hired by Riot. That would be, be, be my dream. It's like, oh, we're going to hire you as an official content creator, pay you an okay amount. And what I would actually, again, I might even offer it to Riot. Be like, yo, you employ me, and whatever my YouTube channel makes, you keep. You'll probably make money off hiring me, but at least I know I've got a job. Like, because Article 13 legit could just kill every single job in Europe for content creation. Your musicians on YouTube gone, your gameplay channels got Well, just uploading in general from Europe could just die, is what YouTube sa have said. So yeah, a little bit scary. Uh, Kane lives mid a bit. He's probably duo. Again, with us being five main five man pre made, the likelihood of them being pre made with at least well, they could be five man, they could be three man. It's very high. Very high possibility. And also, just to make the point as well, because um, again, I have seen it trickle into the comment section or even Twitch chat. Is like, oh, this guy's plat four. How's he plat four? Again, one, these are normal games. Very much normal games are the training area of League of Legends that he could be a support main in Platinum 4, and now he's playing jungle. Uh, or you're just not really pl paying that much attention um, at all. Like, that's fine. Like, that, normal games is where you just play League without a care in the world. And I say, as a high rating player, one of the most off putting things about going into normal games is getting flamed for being a certain rank. You have one bad game and you're diamond in a normal game. Oh, you bought your account, your eBay. It's like, I'm just not paying attention. My destination is clear. Like, it sucks. Okay, that's awarded. Oh, I don't have my keybinds on this account. <laughs> I went to press N because that's my keybind for uh, that that bush or whatever is warded ping. And uh, yeah, it's not bound because I haven't bound it on this account. Got Spyro remastered? I do. It's up there. I haven't opened it yet. Th there's so many games to play. It's insane. Clash mode is coming back tomorrow, which I, I'm hoping I'm going to be playing. Uh, me and Fi are hoping that we're going to be playing. Um, we should be playing with Fox if everything has gone to plan. Um, but I haven't confirmed it with him. Oh, he attacked a min- Oh, he attacked another minion! Oh, that attacks- Oosh, they killed him. But he attacked the minions twice before attacking the Zed. So again, another reason what we said earlier about Garen being a training wheel version of Darius. So Darius's regen, because again, there's very much similarities with these two champions. How you get health back on Darius is landing your Q, and it you go at the bottom. Darius heals 12% of missing health per enemy he's hit. Maximum of three times, so 36%. Garen, he doesn't need to do anything skill-wise to, to get health back. He has a regen, like a little uh, war mogs built into his passive. So you have a bad trade as a new player. Oh, just walk away and you'll regen. Um, you know, that's the difference. So it's like just straight up a parody. Like these two are parodies of each other. That's the training wheel version. This is the harder version. So yeah, there's a couple of those in the uh, Prangles. Thank you much, dude. 200 biddies. Again, I haven't got the ward pit. Is it in here? No. 
Again, people were wondering in the Master E video, how was I pinging? Um, uh oh. Damn. Um, in the top left of the minimap, there's a button up here that you can click and then you can ping. And then depending what direction you move your arrow, you'll uh, do the right thing. Woo! Fiesta, dude. There was four of the enemy team, but it was like my whole team. All right, attack speed boots. Wait, I just thought not every item that I'm going to have is going to have attack speed because I'm going Berserker Greaves. What king? What god king do I prefer? Darius. I prefer Darius's design. Just in general, to be honest. I think he looks cooler. Uh, would it be correct to say uh, Garen is the most defensive of the two? I guess, because he's got the W. Again, kind of adding to the, the training wheel capability of him. He's less risky, you could say. The payoff of the playstyle is, you know, Darius has a bigger payoff for a very similar playstyle. Okay. <laughs> nope. I like how she's literally, in, uh, Tristana, the character, says nope as she ults somebody away. <laughs> it's probably what the player is thinking in their head. Like, nope, I'm out of there. See you later. Not having that. All right, next item, Phantom Dancer. <laughs> what a weird build. Again, want to reiterate the point. Do not try these at home. Or at least don't try them in ranked. I don't want to be responsible for people losing ranked games because they think it's a good idea. Oh, Huz got fed on Darius attack speed. Again, that's the, I, I love my fellow LOL YouTubers, but that's something that the, a lot of them are guilty of. It's like doing a playstyle that actually hurts the player base. Oh my god. Uh, he might die. Hey, let's go again. Remember, I'm going to be incredibly squishy for a Darius. So you know that Darius that is in the middle of your team fights that can tank everything and still kill everything? Yeah, that's not me. That, nope. <laughs> that, that's not what I do. <laughs> we are basically a split push Darius that we want to have one-on-one -on -one fights. Boom, baby. Uh, but yeah, like the point I was saying, I love my fellow LOL content creators, but a lot of them are guilty of hyping up a really terrible build and be like, this is OP, literally in the video title. When it's utter trash, it's just a diamond player or whatever on a Smurf account getting fed. Dude, like, I, we'll do a challenge and probably eventually that we play something like AD Ari, AD Carry Ari and still go legendary. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's just a difference of skill. It's not about the build. Because obviously, LOL as a game has one of the most diverse skill groups in probably most video games. Like, the difference of, like, a bad player in League versus a good player in League is worlds apart. Like, worlds. Um, and it doesn't matter what build the good player is going to do, you know. That's just the, that's just the thing of it. Fight me! Oh. Kane's coming. God, there's three top. Oh, I don't need my team walking towards me. Le uh, I'm going to say, don't come to me. Put pressure on the map away from me. Like, I need them to, like, pressure somewhere else. So it basically, what that enables is, look, I just died. We gained nothing for my death. We actually just lost a tower for my death. Because they're not doing anything productive when I'm by myself. I With my build that I'm doing, I have to be by myself. This is not a team fighting build. So they need to be split pushing or grouping as four down bot when I'm top. So that even means if four people come, uh, three people come top lane to kill me, well, they gain a massive advantage and probably get, can get an inhibitor because there's three people with me. Or it basically means they can't send three people for me because they'd lose too much. That That's what it means. So that that's the premise. Ooh. Oh, uh, that, that's what it means of like, you know, you have to have pressure uh, away from me. So, yeah. Never 
Someone's saying, I was in one of Night Blue's videos. Oh, yeah, a lot of the big YouTubers do custom games. They purposely invite bronze people and they're high rating. There was one YouTuber that did that and he got found out and he always used to hide them as ranked games. But then they got found out that he was doing custom games and then also the chat log got leaked. Again, I don't want to create drama or anything here, but then it got leaked that he literally was asking, maybe on his Discord server, hey, I need bronze people. It's like, oh no. Like, oh no, no. Well, if you want to do that, I guess go ahead, but like, don't hide it as a ranked game. My damage is not very high. I think I need to get bought. Oh my god, look at him go! Oh, I thresh you! <laughs> what? <laughs> Pentaki! <laughs> what? Uh, I can't beat this guy anymore. Whoa, hello! That was really weird. He flashed over me. Oh. Yeah. This my my build is um starting to get like it's it's a bad build. You can clearly see. Like, I do initial damage because I can get to my dot my dot very quickly. Um, but then my damage kind of falls off because I'm not actually doing any damage with AD. They are not killing that Zed. Look at him go! Oh my. If he lives. He's got Mobies activated. He's got Mobies. Oh no. They're going to kill him. Save the Thresh. Oh look how hungry the enemy team. Save him. No. Oh no. No! Oh, what happened? No! I had no vision! Ah! Right, we've got a Phantom Dancer. I want Bork. Bork will actually give me damage because it gives every auto attack then will do percentage health damage. Oh no, not percentage health. Current health. Uh man. No, let's buy this component first. Uh, fiestas. Um, can I try a mod? I don't own mod. Again, part I will say, you've got the QT down below. Uh, I don't own a lot of the champions that people would want. So it's only if I own the champion or if you want to like me to play something, you have to obviously donate it. If Again, I'm going to be buying a bunch of champions myself because I'm just interested in playing them. But if I'm not interested in playing them, then I'm not going to buy them. So, yeah. So, like, I'm definitely not going to buy myself Mordekaiser because I have zero interest playing Mordekaiser. But if you want me to play it, that's fine. But I ain't buying it. Uh oh. Again, I can't really team fight that well, so that's why I've come back to top. Red buff would be really good on me as well, and their red's coming up soon. I do crits. Oh my god, critting as Darius is really weird. Look! Oh my god. Bang! Oh man, uh, We've got like five man so much this game. <laughs> Every time. Ah. Uh. Oh god. Whoa! Whoa, snap. Beatrice just so gifted another eight subs. Thanks very much. That way, does that make... Oh, wow. We just made 800 subs. Damn. New record, baby. 
Thanks very much. Jeez. Again, my whole year goal was 500, and I never thought, like, I, I'll be honest, I never really thought I'd get there, and if I did, I was like, oh, maybe it'll be in December. Maybe. But, like, well, thank you. Again, I think around 100 of our current subs are gifted. They still obviously count. Um, they are real subs. You still get the full benefits of them. The name of the list. But yeah, holy moly. Uh, and then also, Tim Rez one Thanks for subbing yourself, man, with Twitch Prime. Again, if you do have a spare Twitch Prime, you're not normally a Twitch viewer. It does help out, you know, if it's just like, you know, you would spare the five, the ten minutes just list. to set that up. You can go a long way. Alright. We've got a little bit more damage now. But I can't... Okay, I don't want to push. Again, we've been getting three man to unlock this game. I just need... I just need my team to have pressure and then I can keep going. But I can't if they're not around to do anything. Um, I think to kill Garen, I might need to finish Bork Blow, by the way. I just don't see how I'm going to have enough damage without it. Because, you know, I can't buy Black Cleaver. So, I can't shred his armor. I've got armor pen with my E. But, yeah. We're coming! Oh, I'm getting attacked. And then Zillion swaps over to me. This, Dar this Garen is very easy to bait what you want to do with him. He flashes like all the time. And we've got a split pushing AD carry. Can you group Zaya? I will say, what's with my Twitch subs and split pushing on AD carries? Like. Uh, Zaya's a grouping AD carry! Not a split push. Again, with me going attack speed Darius, we only can have one person, like, split pushing. And Zaya shouldn't be split pushing anyway. She's, like, one of the best... Yeah, she's probably, like, the second best teamfight AD carry in the game. I'd probably say Severe is probably the best. Maybe Twitch, but Twitch is so easy to counter in team fights a lot of the time. Where both Zaya and Tristana does have some survival to their kit. So that obviously hurts them a little bit. Yeah. That's a good idea. Alright, so. Oh, wow, he's already got Xerophs. Wait, it's 28 minutes? Holy moly, this game's gone longer than I thought. Alright, my team just have to be patient, wait for me to get pressure in bot lane, and then they can try Baron or something. Nice charm. I doubt I'm going to be able to kill her. She's now going to jump. Did get her. Wow. God, I am so fast. <laughs> Again, I'm fast because of my build. Uh oh. Oh, wait, that hook missed? That looked like it went in him. So that's the one benefit I'd say of attack speed Darius with this build. My Triforce is giving me movement speed. My Phantom Dance is giving me movement speed. I'm really fast. So it's actually very hard to get away from me. <laughs> it's like I've got Predator inbuilt in my uh, build. Oh. Okay. Perfecto. Hey, we got Bork. Might I might be able to kill the Garen now. Alright, what now? Uh let's go Storm. Storm Razor. What does it do again? Your next uh, your next basic auto 
crits. <laughs> if you have, oh, that, okay. <laughs> well, we can change it. If we're not, well, it's either Storm Raids or it's Ginsu. Which one? Hmm. Ugh. All right, my team needed a group again to give me the pressure. And also the Garen is making the vital error of only being top lane. Notice how like he's probably the one that should be following me when I'm bot and stuff. He's only top. As Garen is either grouping with his team or top lane. I, he's never come bot lane to stop me. <laughs> I'm so squishy. I'm ridiculously squishy. Essence Reaver, but does it does it give attack speed on it? No. Again, it doesn't give attack speed on it. It has a it has a passive, but it has to have attack speed on the item. That's the challenge. I might go Ginsu, you know. Yeah, screw it. Let's go Ginsu. That that's funnier. Also, look at this. What are you doing? Why are you bot? <laughs> look at their face. Why are you bot lane? Uh-oh. Again, Ari's not grouping for some reason. Oh, they're gonna die. Why aren't my team grouping? This is so weird. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all they gotta do is be four people. That's it. Finished. Do I remember playing Tarek top? We'll we'll do a Tarek top. Uh, uh oh. They just need to be four. Again, I don't want to be like I don't want to say anything, but like I don't get why they're not. Ugh. I can't push anymore. I've got to wait until they're alive. Right. Now be patient for a while. So weird watching Darius attack that much. So the, Trist the enemy Tristana is also only split pushing. Obviously, that's why she's 1 and 5. Don't know where anybody is. Oh, there was two there. Go, please, group. <laughs> uh... Because look at all this. Little bot lane. Uh. Okay, I need to push now. I should still be a little bit careful. Like I should be. Uh. Okay, so they're always going to send people for me. Like, push, 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 push. They used Zed ultimate. Used his ignite. Kill him. Oh, I could have jumped on him then. Good charm. Ooh. Oh, God. We got the that when did we oh, we got that earlier didn't we? Get his GA Yeah they got his GA nice Ooh 
Auto, auto, auto. Keep autoing, Zaya. There we go. Auto, the Garen, the Garen, the Garen, the Garen. There we go. They can't deal with the Zaya. Oh, that's stun. Hey, the hook. There we go. Worked out, but it's just really messy. Oh, here we go. Wham! Ah! Oh, he just killed him himself. <laughs> this Thresh has got 11 kills. Huh. 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 I'm a villager for Minecraft. Huh. So much farm. Did I not kill Trist? And there's the game. So attacks me, Darius. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but we were critting like crazy. I think we just did a 1200 crit, by the way. Um. Yeah, it's not his playstyle, but it was fun. <laughs> Seeing Darius attack that much was uh, funny. We'll give it a toaster. Like normally, I random it when we're playing with subs, but yeah, he played really well. All right, so we went eight seven five two hundred eighty seven farm. We got an A, and damage done. We did second most. Zai did the most in total. I came second in total as well. Yeah, maybe the Tristana was an actual new player. Like, she's level 18. But she is playing with platinum people on her own team. But, like, she really didn't know what the hell was going on. Like, mechanically, you saw she knew what she was doing. She was ulting. She was jumping. Maybe she's just a really bad player. I don't know. But she always was split pushing. She didn't do any damage. Like, I, I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be it. That was attack speed. Darius. Wouldn't recommend it. But it was fun in its own way. Uh, like, subscribe. Remember down below there'll be linked to QT. If you go down there, comment what, what, what champions you want me to play, what builds you want me to do, and what challenges you want me to do. Kind of like the one-hand master, that type of thing. But anyway, see you guys next time. See ya.